Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how I put Bisu's hair in the back for when she has to use the bathroom in the mornings. I figured this would be helpful for anyone that has a dog with um, a long coat. So let's get started. Alright, so I have Bisu laying down on her side. And the first thing I like to do is just spritz her with the ice on ice. And I just brush out the top layer of her coat. And then now here, paying close attention to the back, I brush her coat that's closer to her butt upward, kind of separate and making a part right where her tail connects. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's just general trying to get the hair away from where her poop comes out so that she has a clean um, bottom after she goes and it's not dangling off of her coat. I lift her leg and I brush inside of her leg, pulling that hair upward. And then I use the brush to start gathering the hair away from her private areas. I sort of eyeball where her tail is and making a line up, just going along that line, gathering where I guess you would consider her thigh to be. and some hair by her lower leg at the lower at the bottom part of her leg. Okay. Bisu's coat isn't that thick, so I know this is where I need to be here. So I'm not sure how well you can see the line I made of, across the top. A short line here and then it comes down right about where to her leg, where I guess you would consider her knee to be. I'm not, sorry, I'm not familiar with the dog anatomy here. All right, so once I have it gathered, I use one of those old soft scrunchies that I've showed you in, the, in a past video. These are the ones that are ready to toss. I just keep three of them. And I make a ponytail, tying it three times, because these are old and stretched out and it's good enough to hold her hair away from her bottom. I'm going to flip Bisu and I'm going to move the camera to the other side so I can show you um, how we finish. So I have Bisu laying on the other side. Same thing. Lightly spritz her with my ice on ice. I brush the top layer downward just to make sure there's no knots. And then I start gathering her hair away from her butt, <laughs> from her butthole. Start making a part, so I'm pulling this away. And I see where her tail is and I start making that invisible line up towards her back. And then I make that line inside of her leg. And up around where her leg starts to bend here. Like I said, lines don't have to be perfect. It's just an eyeball. I'm just gathering trying to get the majority, what I'm more concerned of is getting the hair here away from her so that when it comes out it's not falling onto her hair. I'm just trying to open up like a, like a curtain. So this I'm not that crazy about if it's straight or not. Okay. Again I take a soft ponytail, one that's been old and ready to toss, once I have that hair gathered, oops, Paris is on the bed watching me, so she's crying if you hear her in the background. Paris doesn't have to go through all of this. I make a ponytail, and then to get her tail, 
I have one last ponytail and this is for her tail. Now her tail, I do not wrap it three times. I feel like that's too tight. It's just for the purpose of holding the hair out of the way. So what I do is I place this on three fingers. Um, this, that's just me. I like to wrap it around and ready to go. I lightly start brushing the hair from her tail. And because she's already laying on some of the hair, I'll take my hand and scoop that up because I don't want to pull what's already gathered. And I'll use the brush to kind of help pick up the strands that are loose. Okay. And this goes about right where I started the line. Right about here where the line is for her already gathered hair from the side right across the middle that's about where I pull most of her hair from for the back for her tail all right oops B you got to stay laying down lay down B all right the end of her tail is here right here so I just grab a little bit below that I wrap once, then twice, because I don't like bending her tail either, so I'm just very cautious of where that falls. It's super loose, like I said, it's just there to help hold temporarily while she uses the bathroom. So she goes out, she uses the bathroom, as soon as she's done using the bathroom, I pick her up, I don't even let her run back through the grass, I'll pick her up, I'll put her down on the concrete where... Um, I know like bugs and things or leaves won't get on her coat and then I'll slide each one of these right out of her hair. So she's already gone. We're just doing this demonstration so I could show you how I do it in the morning. So I'm going to insert the clip of her outside walking around so you can have a better idea of what it looks like when she's standing up and moving. And now I'm going to show you how I remove it. Now generally she's standing up outside, but same thing if you prefer to take your pet back in and do it inside, doesn't matter. Look how easy it is to slip them out and it does not pull her hair. B, can you stand up a little bit? Thank you, B. And the last one. And she shakes generally and her hair just falls back into place and she's ready to go. Say thank you for watching, guys. Oops, camera's too low. Say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time. There it is. All right, she deserves a treat for going through this twice. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye.